I really mean it. Dr. Leslie Ford gave courageous, credible testimony. Former Vice President Joe Biden headlined the Rhode Island Democratic Rally Sunday, where nearly 1,100 Rhode Islanders witnessed Democratic politicians denounce prospective Justice Brett Kavanaugh and support Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. An FBI investigation into Blasey Ford's claim that Kavanaugh assaulted her in high school is currently underway. The Senate will likely hold a confirmation vote Friday. And yet she was denied an FBI investigation, which was automatic when I was chairman, automatically, immediately. An FBI investigation would be ordered. During the 1991 Anita Hill hearings, Biden said an FBI report would be inconclusive and was not worth anything. Biden's spokesperson, Bill Russo, said these words were taken out of context. Dr. Ford deserves a full, robust investigation. <laughs> Democratic constituents at the rally held their elected officials' positions on Kavanaugh to high importance. Today, um, what kind of support uh, Dr. Ford will get from the Democratic Party as part of that FBI investigation, um, that she has some support, hopefully uh, across political lines, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. I think that's critical uh, on Sunday, today. I'm really interested to hear about like what they have to say about like the Democratic Party today and like where we stand on certain issues, especially with like, Kavanaugh and that whole that just happened this past week. Senator Whitehouse did an excellent job in questioning Judge uh, Kavanaugh. Uh, most of the people I work, I talk to in the Democratic Party are very much, we want this investigation. Senator Whitehouse, who questioned Kavanaugh in his hearings on Thursday, railed against his demeanor. And the fact that we're in a position in this country right now where him going so partisan him losing complete control over his temperament, you know, they talk about judicial temperament. <laughs> Didn't see much of that. Governor Gina Raimondo also blasted Kavanaugh and promised to codify Roe v. Wade. I don't know about you, but my stomach turned as I watched those hearings last week. And so, first of all, we're going to oppose that, and thank God we had Sheldon Whitehouse doing a great job. <laughs> It, it's so important, people take things for granted, and we can't take it for granted that it's going to happen. We need to get out and actually vote on November 6th.